Welcome back to Code Searcher. Alright guys, new surroundings. I'm in the Georgia Linus. God bless you. Listen, I was on Paul Bigley's show the other day. And, well, yesterday. Day before yesterday. What time is it? It's 11.23. 27. Uh, anyway, I was up last night. In the third hour. I hope this, is, this sounds coming through good. Working on the third tip. You know, somebody brought up yesterday and talking about you and Glick and uh, a couple of things happening. They're very profound. As you know, we talked about the Third Temple already um, a couple of years ago, or maybe a year and a half. Something like that. But let's, let me just show you. This is the original. It was mostly ELS, and it was a lot of stuff there. Lots. Indicating 2015, 2016. Did you believe? several vertical anomalies in this so I got on there last well last night early this morning until about three looking and searching and God is blessed but um before we get into it let me just read something the Lord blessed me with today was Psalm 27 which is really profound to me considering what I've been going through but I just want to share this with you before we get started because I want to bless him who has blessed me the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may arise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I desire of the Lord that I will seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire of his temple. For in a time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and in the secret place of his tabernacle. And he shall hide me, and he shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted above my enemies. All around me, therefore, I will offer joy, excuse me, sacrifice of joy in his tabernacle, and I will sing, and I will sing praises to his Lord, to the Lord. Verse 7 Chimayona Kolyechra Vikoheni Vahani Lecha Amaya Labi Bach Esu Fanai Epanecha Donai Fakash. When I cry, my voice have mercy also on me and answer me seek my face my heart said to you and I will seek your face O Lord thank you God hide not your face from me do not turn away from your servant have turn away from anger and have been my help do not leave me nor forsake me O oh God of my salvation, when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me into the smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me in, un, unto the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such is breath out of violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the living, land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait on the Lord. All right, folks, let's talk about the third table. This is an amazing table, and I only got 15 minutes because I don't have a pro um, account at the moment. Just getting everything back. But in the last video that I did and you can go find it it's there we didn't look at the verses that were you know you know only two that we looked at I got to look at a few more and it seemed to stick out but what's really cool is Yehuda Glick is here you see his name is crossing over the axis term this is the third house the third temple um Glick is also up here but look what's sitting on top of the cliff in his name Raphaim you know what Raphaim are um, 
just move this a little so slightly. Just look at some anomalies here. Hold on, just a second. see Elijah in here. I'm working on a laptop for now, folks. I don't have the big uh, desktop with the, <laughs> the huge monitor that I was using, but I'm using a very small. So Elijah is here. You see the olive and uh, the Lamed Yod, the hay and Netanyahu and the Vav. Elijah's right there. It's also He's also vertical other side check this out it's Elijah and this look up look at this so we got Elijah going down and then we have the year hey Tav Shin Vav it's 2016 uh, 2015 is here too but I, I scaled it back and wanted you, wanted you to see that 2016 and the Jubilee coming together here vertically not only that uh, you know something else that was vertical here and I didn't put it in I wanted to do it manually so you could see uh, which is Obama standing vertically right here on the house of Israel. That's where he stands with Netanyahu bowing to him here, I'd say. But you got, and, and I mean no disrespect um, to Netanyahu at all. Um, he's got a tough job. Uh, Jubilee also here with uh, Judah, uh, the 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 Holy God of Judah. Oh, that's in Malachi, yeah. It's Kodesh Yehovah, the Holy God. Also had the year in this verse too, which is also the same one, Malachi. Hatov Shin Vah is the 2016. You also got Elijah running through here. Check this out. You got Meshephet, ju uh, Judgment, one, two, three, four, five, six behind me. Six, no? Mm. Yeah, six times. I thought it was seven for some reason. Six times. We're up seven minutes, so I, I got to really speed this up, folks. All right. Let's get into the verses. Right up here, first one. Please, Lord Jesus, help me get through this all on these verses. I'm using the beta version of um, Screencast 2, folks. So, uh, it's a little different than I used to have. We're in um, Deuteronomy 12, chapter, verse 6. This is what's running through the ashes term in the yard. Uh, verse 7. How about we restart from... No, can't do it. Only got 15 minutes. Uh, and there shall... And there they... And there... Oh, it's so small. And their eyes shall eat before the Lord your God, and, and ye shall rejoice in all that you put your hand unto in your household, wherein the Lord your God hath blessed thee. And this is about the children of Israel coming into the land. I remember from reading, uh, and you should not do that after this day. And God gives them the standards to live by. And I'm doing a very quick synopsis, folks, because I don't have an hour to do this anymore. All right, we're in Isaiah here, 51.4. Help me, Lord. 51.4. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me. O oh, my nation. Look where, and this is where Obama, his name stops here. <clears throat> o oh, my nation. For law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to the rest of, to the rest for the light of the people. People will see. That's what I got highlighted there. This next one is in Ezekiel. Help me, Lord, with the time. Ezekiel 2 6. Bless them, God. And thou shalt speak the words unto them, whether they he will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are rebellious. For they are most rebellious. But thou, O son of man, hear what I would say unto thee, and be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth, and eat what I give thee. It's almost like what uh, happened to John in Revelation. That bitter scroll. All right, next one. And I just kind of went through and highlighted, folks, in Ezekiel. We may not get to all of them. 
Ezekiel's 20, 39. As for you, O house of Israel, saith the Lord God, go ye, serve ye every one of his idols, and hear ye after also, if ye now will hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name, no more with your gifts and with your idols. For mine is a holy mountain, and in, my, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God, shall be the house of Israel. This is talking about the temple right here. Okay. Um, and it talks about them being scattered and he will bring them back into the land I'm trying to hurry up here folks you can read that as uh, oh I hate that through around 44 is what's running through there and you shall know that I am the Lord God when I brought you into your name for my name's sake for his name's sake not according to your wicked ways but according to your or according to your corrupt doings O ye house of Israel saith the Lord your God and moving on let's go to I believe that is Ezekiel as well. It is Ezekiel 36, 27. And we're at 11 minutes. Folks, we're probably not going to get through the whole thing. And we'll have to do a part two. Help me, God. Can I splice them? 36, 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. It's good advice. Do what God says. Hosea 6, 4. I know about Hosea. O oh, you from what shall I do with thee? O oh, Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is, a mo is as a morning cloud and the early dew that goeth away. Therefore I have hewed thee by the prophets, and I have, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments as a light that goeth forth. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. All right, next one I got is Malachi 2.11. Here's what we got here. Help us, Lord, get through this. Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange god. Judah, Yehuda, click, Yehuda is what Judah is, if you didn't know. Uh, just saying. Just saying, folks. We're not going to get to go through these other four, folks. i got to wrap it up here. What I want you to do, please, um, I am witnessing the death of my marriage. It's been going on for two years, and it's coming to a close soon. Keep me and my sons in, in your prayers. Um, I haven't been able to see them in a while, and I miss them dearly. Bailey, Casey, Nolan, Dad loves you very much, and I'll see you soon. Shalom. God bless you, folks. I'll see you in the next video.